Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty cool things to go over. We have some things that you might have missed in the reveal trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We also have some more leak theories to go over for the Generation 9 games. Plenty of stuff to go over as always. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's go over something that you might have missed in the reveal trailer for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet um, so this is a thread by soul silver Art saying i have no idea how i didn't notice this before am i the only dummy that didn't see this yet it looks like these two images are taken from two different places in pokemon scarlet and violet so this is an image with pikachu um, where you can see like the type kind of star thing with obviously we're guessing to do with the gimmick in the background and then we also have it here again uh, with the Swablus but basically this location and this location are two different places in this big town which you know I'm guessing is the main hub of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet um, like the big town where everything happens because it's bloody massive um, and they go and say they may be in the same city but these battle spots are in at least two separate locations um, so the Pikachu pick has green tile floor, has a mountain of stairs behind it, and the type symbol seem to be a circle around the star, while the other location is the primary one we see throughout the trailer. The other one is much more open and beachy with a white floor. This could have some implications because if this battle spot symbol is different in different towns, maybe it's not a battle spot at all, but just a theme around the region, or maybe it's used different in every single town. There could be many more implications, only time will tell. So yeah, th this kind of thing could pop up in like every single town. It could very well be where we like battle gym leaders or whatever the strong trainers are going to be in this game. Um, so yeah, they could very well be in like every single town and stuff. We have this person here saying, I'm from Spain, it's obvious. The first pick with Pikachu is, uh, the, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, from Barcelona. And the second one is uh, the Plaza Mayor from Madrid. Maybe two different cities, maybe not, but we can have only one really big city. The capital and another big city like Barcelona, but not the capital. Uh, I think they're combined arch uh, architecture references of Barcelona, Lisbon and Madrid and put them in the same city. So they could have done that. But again, that just kind of goes to show that even though the reveal trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet came out, you know, months ago now, there's still things that a lot of people might not have noticed. I mean, I definitely didn't notice it. I thought this was just kind of the same thing. But yeah, they could be very well be like two different kind of, we'll just refer to them as battle spots, but these like type kind of um, places. Uh, the next thing we're going to go over is this as well. Now, this is probably just a coincidence and it means nothing, but I thought I'd include it in today's video regardless. Um, so we have Soul Silver Art once again saying the three type what now? So basically, this is uh, a tweet by um, Pokemon Masters. Well, Cerebi uh, retweeted like the kind of information and stuff. But he says the Pokemon Masters EX three type egg event is now live, and of course they have the Cynthia, they have um, N, and obviously the protagonist. They have the Komowo, the the Zekrom in the background, Zacian and stuff. So you know all the stuff to do with like the leaks from Riddler Coup and everything. So the three type what now? Uh, and someone behind Pokemon Masters is Cheeky. Look at those two sync pairs behind Gloria and Zacian. Um, so yeah, again, it could just be, you know, a massive coincidence. Like we've had, I'm pretty sure, three type things before in the past. Uh, they also tweeted this out as well by Pokemon Go, um, which again, we've been seeing a lot more about this kind of thing um, with like rumors and stuff in, in regards to the gimmick for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, you know, that can't be a coincidence, right? That's what I'm saying. Either Ku knew this was coming or Masters employees are watching him. Or, of course, it's just a coincidence. Uh, this is far from the first time we've had three type Pokemon um, fears and three type egg events. They used to label them like Bug, Water, and Fire type egg event, for example. I assume they just wanted to streamline it all to the name three type for simplicity. Um, again, it is just probably a massive coincidence, but it's just quite funny. Uh, and then the final thing we're going to go over is some more leak theories um, for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, so again, Soul Silver Art once again. Theory time in Gen 7 and 8, the third legendary of the mascot trio has been an antagonist responsible for the main gimmick. I also believe this will happen in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, but instead of a dark antagonist, I believe it will be colorful and kind based on types and rainbows and will be revered uh, in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet region. Um, so here he says, got nothing to back this up, but I don't think Game Freak will repeat the same third legendary as the bad guy causing the gimmick three times in a row. Because uh, obviously we've had like Necrozma, uh, Eternatus, stuff like that. Uh, if colors slash types are important to the people of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, uh, the Mon who causes it will be too. And rainbows are symbolic of bright, joyful things. 
Um, so yeah, it could be a situation with like, um, where the third legendary saves the day. Kind of like with Rayquaza in Gen 3, you know, where Groudon and Kyogre are having a big old battle on, in Suitopolis City and then Rayquaza comes down and he's like, alright, calm down lads. And then, you know, they, they bloody chill off out, out elsewhere and then he you know flies back up to sky pillar or whatever could just be like that situation again and the third legendary saves the day uh then of course this happened today and it's very possible that zassian could be hinting at the third legendary of the trio an honorable fairy type would fit the bill sadly again this is just speculation and zassian could mean nothing and it's just coincidentally there i i feel like it's not just there i feel like it is there for a reason i think everything else is just too i just you know like we've got come away with the We've got Zekrom, we've got Cynthia, we've got N. You know, all of these were on Riddler Koo's, um leak. So I think that the Zacian definitely means something with the protagonist. Uh, and then he goes on to say, how cool would a fairy slash ghost legendary be if it's based off of uh, Indalo? And it's definitely possible. I fully believe um, it will be able to use the gimmick. And based on what we know, I think it will definitely be able to add a specific third type in battle. Or maybe it's uh, free to add any type. That'd be kind of broken. So this legendary every turn could like change its type. Um, depending on like, not necessarily what moves it's using, like protein um, and stuff like that. But it just gets to change its type. So it could be like normal and dragon or something and then it can add like electric or fire or ice or maybe it can just change its typing every single turn that'd be so busted obviously you wouldn't be able to use it in competitive because it'd be so broken but i think that would be kind of mad and that'd be a really cool like um boss battle as well where you have to constantly like realize that he's going to change turn like it's not like randomly changing types either it could like change types depending on what he's fighting and stuff uh and then we also have this here saying lastly i still believe it could be a peacock um, and here's an older thread of mine explaining why, but I really recommend you take a look at it if you still don't believe the whole uh, colors slash type slash rainbow theme in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as I went and found all the hints to rainbows in the Scarlet and Violet trailer. Um, so yeah, we've got like plenty of rainbow kind of references in the trailer and uh, in, in this thread from the trailer and stuff. I'm, I'm pretty sure we covered this before. Um, but yeah, as you can see in this image, obviously we've got the rainbows there. Uh, we've got this kind of rainbow thing from the, um, the light clicking on and off. You know, I believe this is pointing to many things, but also the general theme of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which includes the main gimmick, box legendaries, and probably even the third legendary of that trio. A big question is, would the third legendary be more important in base Scarlet and Violet post-game or in the inevitable DLC? Because we're most likely going to get DLC for these games as well. We, we saw that how well DLC did for, like, um, Sword and Shield with the Isle of Arm and the Crown Tundra. We got a bunch more content. Um, I, I just think third installments aren't really worth it anymore. Like, you have to start everything again, and they don't really add that much. Um, whereas DLC is just brand new content. You're going to get new Pokemon, new legendaries, uh, new features, and stuff like that. So I'm all for um, DLC. And also, it's cheaper as well. Like, Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra are, what, like $20? Whereas getting, like, a brand new Switch game is going to be, like, $50. So, like, it's just worth it to have DLC instead. Especially in an open-world game as well. They can really do anything. Um, but yeah, this is just more stuff again from the thread um, and, and you know, just talking about like past rumors past leaks and stuff But this is where it could really be like um, to do with like a peacock here You know it makes even more sense when you consider that the queen of the gods is often seen with a peacock around and in Juno and Hera's case uh, Iris the rainbow uh, messenger of the gods So a peacock legendary would be kind of crazy and you can't really see a peacock legendary being like evil So it could be the fact where you know, maybe the the Scarlet and the Violet legendaries, you know, having a squabble. They're not they're not the best of friends. And then this Peacock comes down and he's like, all right, guys, let's just chill out and get along. So that could be the situation. And it could just literally be like a Gen 3 um, replica or, or whatever. But anyway, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really does help out. Again, leave a comment with your thoughts on all of this stuff. Um, and of course, subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. All that. Have a fantastic rest of your day, though. And until next time, peace.